Did you know that you can buy a ready-made e-commerce store? Who knew, right? For those of you just starting out, buying a pre-made Shopify store can really help you skip some critical steps. And for those of you who aren't beginners, this is a strategy that could also help you scale your business a lot faster. Hi everyone, my name is Neely, and in this video, I'm gonna show you guys how to find and purchase a Shopify store that someone already created and managed. Also, this channel is full of strategies and tutorials on how to grow and scale your e-commerce business. So if you wanna stay up to date, make sure to hit that subscribe button and give this video a like. So you can always create your own Shopify store and we do have plenty of tutorials on how you can do that. I'll drop a link to our playlist down below or you can create your own Shopify store and buy a Shopify store. It's really up to you, but there are major benefits to buying a pre-made Shopify store. So let's delve into some of those benefits really quick. Okay, so the first benefit obviously is that this is going to save you time. This is gonna save you time. You can buy a already beautifully designed website. You don't need to put in any of that Effort, especially if you don't have the eye for design. And not only that, it's gonna save you time with product research, which is usually one of the hardest things for beginners that are just starting out. So you're gonna have a store that already have products in it that are ready to be sold. Product research is usually the most time consuming task for drop shippers. So if you have a store that already has products in it that are ready to be sold, this is just gonna really save you a bit of time here. So the second benefit that you're really gonna see from buying an existing store is having an existing customer base. So this is really important on Shopify because Shopify, you don't get organic traffic. You usually need to work for people to see your store, usually through Facebook ads or influencers. There are plenty of marketing strategies to go with. So when you have an existing store, you have that existing audience and you'll be able to get instant sales. Also something specific to Shopify that you don't see on other platforms like eBay or Facebook mar marketplace is that your customers are yours long term. You get to have their personal information, which is amazing. And you can add them onto your mailing list and promote future products and listings to them. On that note, our third benefit that you'll see is saving time on marketing. So this is especially helpful if you're a beginner. Buying a store can give you an edge up on marketing because you can talk to the previous owner of the store and see what marketing methods they use, what works for them, and you can continue the same process from there. So now that we all understand the benefits of buying a pre-made store, Let's get down to it and I'll show you guys exactly how you can find and buy a store for yourself. I'll show you guys the two best marketplaces for buying Shopify stores, which filters you'll need to put on to find exactly what kind of store you're looking for and voila, you'll have yourself a Shopify store by the end of the day. So the first platform we're gonna look at is called Exchange. So over here, this is Shopify's marketplace to buy and sell businesses for entrepreneurs. It is specifically made for this purpose. What you're gonna wanna do is go to that top left corner, you're gonna click on browse all, and this way you could see all the listings of all the stores that are for sale. Now, we're gonna wanna get more specific, so we're gonna go over to business type, we're gonna click over on drop shipping, because that's what we're looking for, drop shipping store. Then over here, we're gonna wanna click on more filters and just see what kind of store exactly we want. So over here, we've got industry, and that just basically means, does this store have a niche and what kind of niche you wanna go into? So if you're interested in all of them, you can just clickety-clack all of those and see what you want and apply filters, right? So we chose three categories three categories. So now we see our options that are listed here. Additional filters that we could choose are things like selling price, you know, how much are we buying this store for, which is pretty important. And that's up to you. It's personal how much you want to invest in a pre-made Shopify store. The range over here really goes from $500 up to, you know, $100,000 plus. Also something that you could set is the average monthly revenue. This is the average monthly revenue of the existing store. So you could choose a store that on average is already making 15,000 plus in sales. This is probably gonna be more expensive, but again, it's all up to you and what's in your budget. So let's apply those filters. What you can see is for the store, you can see the average revenue, the average profit, and their inventory value. So that's usually what you're gonna see on all of these listings. Not only that, if you're not feeling like you're getting enough information here, you could actually personally contact the seller of the store and ask them any more questions. See over here, you've got contact seller. 
If you guys have any more questions that you have about the store and really feel comfortable before you make this purchase. Once the purchase is complete, the migration team at Exchange transfers the ownership of the business to the new buyer, which would be you. So both the buyer will get a notification via email that the transfer is complete. But if you have any more complications with this new store, you're not used to it, you don't know how to go about the store settings, you can always contact Exchange's customer support. They're available 24 seven. So the second website I wanted to show you guys for buying e-commerce stores is Flippa. So Flippa is another great, great website over here. You could type in in the search bar, Shopify store and see what comes up. You have a lot more filters here, a lot more customization. So you can really get down into what exactly you want. Right now you can already see we have over, you know, 2,800 results, a lot of things to choose from. And over on the side here, you have all your different preferences that you could put in and see what you want. And on the listings itself, you'll also get more information. So let's say I click on one of these websites that are for sale. I could see some more information about it here, like how old the website is, what their monthly profit is. Here it's zero dollars, so I'm not sure how great this one is. And you'll also see things like their average profit margin. And usually you'll want one with a bit more details, but you could go through the whole list here and see which ones will work for you. All right, so you have your Shopify store. You didn't have to start it from scratch. You've got a business that's already made and now you just get to dive right into it. I recommend you check out AutoDS and you start really utilizing all the tools that they have to offer because they could really save you time with your dropshipping business. You've got things like automatic price and stock monitoring. You've got auto fulfillment of orders. So. The list of tools keeps going and you could really just sit back and let your store profit for you. It can turn into a more passive business. I'll include a link below to our $1 trial and I really recommend you take advantage of these tools. All right, thank you guys so much for watching. Good luck with purchasing your Shopify store. If you need more tips and strategies for getting that store to grow and really profit, make sure to hit that subscribe button because we're always coming out with great content. All right, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video.